Well, around town at 656, Cameron Fontana is live in Utica this morning. Mm, he is at Velvet Ice Cream's The Old Mill. And Cam, I hear this is just like mind-blowingly good. Yeah, that's right, Karen. You know, you might not have had velvet ice creams yet, but we are live at Yield Mill, the home of velvet ice creams. A couple things we're going to do today on Good Day Columbus. First, we're going to talk about a flavor that was debuted at the Ohio State Fair last year that is now in circulation. A couple new flavors that they have, including a new type of ice cream. And the only hint I can give you right now is it's Italiano. Pete, you might have a clue as to what that is. So we're going to pass it back to you guys. And nice. I'm going to dig into my microcone I see what you did there yes talking into your in your microcone micro looks delicious thanks cam 722 I scream you scream we all scream for her ice cream we do yep this morning we are talking about frozen treats camera Fontana is live in Utica having oh velvet ice cream for breakfast cam that sounds like heaven <laughs> Yeah, that's right, guys. And Pete, I know you tweeted me. I had to get a new microcone because I, see, I yeah. ate the rest of the last one. <laughs> this is so good. And we're excited because we're we're hanging out with ice cream royalty. This is Luconda <laughs> Dagger with the Velvet Ice Cream family. How are you doing, Luconda? I'm really great. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for having us out. Now, I'm not going to do this the whole time because we do have <laughs> lobs on. But Luconda, for people that have never been here, there's a lot of history, especially with the mill here. How far back does it go? Yes, the old mill, this stone foundation that you see has been here since 18. 1917. Wow. But the family, the Dagger family, we originally started Velvet Ice Cream in 1914 in downtown Utica, and then we moved out here to this property in the early 60s. Now it's a household name. Now it's a household. We hope so. Yeah, and what's really <laughs> cool this year, because we've had kind of a good uh, change of weather, you opened earlier? Yes. When do you normally open? We normally open May 1st, but we started two weeks earlier this year. No way. Because so we just kind of... You know, saw it coming. Yeah. This weather was going to be good. So people can come out right now to Velvet Ice Cream here in Utica. Yes. And they can enjoy all the flavors that are here. Seven days a week. We're open from 11 to 7 p.m. Perfect. Well, Luconda, what do you say we go taste some? What do you have right there? I have wild black cherry. She has wild black cherry, and I have raspberry. Black raspberry fudge cordial. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Back Let's, to you guys. Oh, go have some ice cream. Mm -hmm. Sound oh like gosh. heaven. The best day ever. Yeah. <laughs> Around town. Now that the weather is warming up, it's the perfect time to get some ice cream. Cameron Fontana is live in Utica this morning. Utica this morning learning about velvet ice cream. Cam, you've never looked better. Hey guys, well we switched the microcone with a real microphone because we want to make sure you can hear us. We're back with Lou Honda in the, the production facility, right? Yes, this is where we make all the good stuff. Wow. So we make everything from scratch here. Every uh, week we, we receive fresh cream from the Midwest and we blend everything fresh here. And so then we all made in house. All made in house and we pasteurize it and, um, you know, just make everything from scratch right wow. here. It's, it's made local literally absolutely so how much ice cream are you guys producing on an ongoing day on a regular basis we can make up to about 3,000 gallons of ice cream an hour what that's at the max and I think Ken was telling me this machine just this one alone produces 20 gallons a minute yes 20 units those will produce 20 units a minute wow that's a lot of ice cream. that's a lot of ice cream. how hard is it for the people working here just to not go in and just take a <laughs> sample of everything they yeah, they love working around ice cream. They never get tired of it. But we have to keep them out of the ice cream when it's on the production floor. But they can eat endless ice cream on the, in the break room. Well, this is literally heaven because it is endless ice cream. And coming up next, we're going to show you guys some of the flavors that they have over in the store. GDC is on the road this morning. <laughs> Well, Cameron is. He's, he's yeah. doing all the hard work. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> he is at Ye Old Mill in Utica this morning with velvet ice cream. Well, what you tasting now, Cam? Oh, listen, I got to show you guys something. Edwin's getting phone calls, and he literally has the ice cream cone in his mouth. I don't know if you can see him. He's eating the ice cream behind yeah. the camera. Get a little on his nose. And he's got, he's got it all over his <laughs> face. But, you know, we're enjoying some delicious ice cream at Velvet this morning. We are now with Joanne talking about a flavor that made its debut last year at the fair. Kind of set up the scenario. What happened there? Um, every year at the House State Fair, we try to find a flavor that signifies a fair food. Okay. And um, we've got, one year we did ba maple bacon, and this year we've 
year, what or last year, what, what better flavor than fried piece of bread like oh, an elephant ear? Yeah. So we put it in some vanilla ice cream, fried, it, coated it with cinnamon and sugar, and put a real light uh, a, a caramel swirl. And that's it. And this been, one right here, yeah, right? It has been a hit. Oh, so talk talk about the response because did you anticipate that you were going to make this a permanent flavor? No, we did not. We always have featured flavors that we use during the season. Look at and, that. And. Uh, we were getting so many calls for how do we get more of this, how do we get more yeah. of this, and we thought together we need to put this in a retail pack, and uh, so we made that move, and it's now out in your local grocery. Well, I haven't had it since the fair last year. I'm going to take a bite out of this. I love because you can see like the cinnamon and everything. Yeah, that's the piece that's I go, go for first. Yeah. You know it makes me want to go to the fair, yeah, but stay absolutely. here. Eat ice cream at the fair. <laughs> We're going to toss it back to you guys and give you a little clue. There's two more brand new flavors making their debut yep. right here, but we're not going to say what they are yet. No. That's a tease. you got to wait. Ed secret. Edwin's got another cone in his mouth. Every time I look back, Edwin's eating ice cream. <laughs> no, I can't blame him. I know. I would be too. Just Karen Fontana is getting, well, probably something he can't get enough of today. It's been ice cream all morning long. <laughs> he is taking GDC on the road to Utica. He is live at Yield Mill getting a taste of velvet ice cream this morning. Good morning, Cam. Hey, good morning, Courtney. I have been waiting all morning for this because velvet, we're back with Joanne, has two brand new flavors. Mm -hmm. What are they? We have a banana cream pie. Which is right here up front. Okay. And we have a s'mores, which is right here in the Oh back. my gosh. So why you scoop those, Joanne? Talk about yep. why these flavors. What was kind of the science behind it? Well, the banana cream pie, um, signature pie. I love banana yeah. cream pie. But it is a um, banana ice cream with a mer meringue swirls and pie crust pieces. Oh my and you can gosh. see them right there on top too, right. how big they are. Now while I grab this, you guys actually had, is it the, the Boy Scouts came in? Absolutely. To taste test the s'mores, what did they think of yep. it? Yeah, this weekend actually we had like 400 Boy Scouts here earning an activity patch. Um, several activities here on the grounds to participate in, but we have a toasted marshmallow ice cream that has um, graham cracker crumbs and chocolate chip flakes. Oh, look at that. So while you scoop that, I'm going to taste the banana cream pie is one of my favorites, guys. Here we go. Taste test. Oh, man. I know. Oh, I think, my gosh. I think it personally it's spot on. This is my favorite. I'm going to call right now. This is my favorite ice cream that you guys have right here. The banana cream pie. There you go. Does that not look amazing? Yes. And it's gone. Wow. That I love is. banana pudding. Mm -mm. That is that's a big boy bite he just took. Do you know? Uh, he must really like it. <laughs> he must really like it. Karen Fontana today. Oh, he's lucky. Sweet treats. Taking GDC on the road this morning. He is in Utica checking out a historic landmark. The Old Mill is the home of Velvet Ice Cream. Yum. Mm, yum. Hey, Cam. Well, hey, guys. You're not. Well, hey guys, you're not allowed to see this yet. A couple more seconds because Joanne, we talked about elephant ear ice cream is available. You mm -hmm. have the two new flavors, banana cream pie, mm -hmm. campfire s'more. Yep. But Velvet is about to release a brand new type of ice cream. Are you ready? Yep. Drum roll, please. Mm -hmm. What is it? Velvet gelato. Gelato. Italian oh style gosh. ice cream. So for people that don't know, what's the difference between gelato and what you already have? Well, gelato, you take out a good portion of the air and so it makes the product more dense and intensifies the flavor. So oh it can explode in your mouth. It, it can explode in your mouth. There yeah. you go. Now, what flavors are you going to come out with that are going to be available? Well, we have espresso, All right. a vanilla bean, a double dutch chocolate, and sweet and salty caramel. Oh, my gosh. And right here in my hands, we have the salty caramel. Yep. And she mentioned, if you don't know Janal, it's very smooth. Correct. And look, you just open it up. You got that. And yeah. let's see if we can get it right here. You ready, Edwin? I'm going to try to get that. Like TV shot. Oh, look at that. It just comes right up. Now, why gelato? Why did you guys decide to make this? Gelato has always been a trend, and um, we just figured it was time for Velvet to come out with gelato. Um, we make good ice cream. and You do make good ice cream. Now, do you anticipate making more flavors down the road of gelato? We do, yeah. We're probably going to see something along the lines of a berry next. This is amazing. This, is, this salty caramel. I could eat this all day. Now, where can people get this? Is this available everywhere? It'll be available in your local grocery store, okay. um, convenience stores, Express Marts. If they want it today, where can they get it? Um, 
Right well, we here. actually just here. So only right here. here. It's only we only just made it here. last week. So okay. it is actually getting out to just distribution as well. Okay. Speak. So if so. people that are watching you want to get ice cream today, maybe the next couple of days, it's definitely available here. Absolutely. At the yep. Utica home base, as we like to call it, for <laughs> Velvet Ice Cream. Awesome. Well, this is delicious. Coming up next, we're going to talk about how you can get involved in the upcoming election. Right. And it involves ice cream, right? That's right. It involves ice cream. We're going to toss it back to you guys. Got to cast your vote. We'll bring some of these back for oh, you if better. we don't eat them all. Something here. we can all agree on. We'll see. Edwin, are you ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Edwin's hungry. Edwin wants all of them. Here I love go. gelato. Mm -hmm. All right, so Cameron is cooling off this morning with some delicious velvet ice cream. He's in Utica at Ye Old Mill. Hey there, Ye Old Cameron. <laughs> Hey everyone, well we're in our last hit here at Velvet Ice Cream. Now what are the different types of things that you serve here? It's not just cones, right Joanne? Oh, Joanne? absolutely not. We have uh, banana splits, sodas, root beer floats. Uh, we even have food. So, I saw a deli over there. Exactly, we have a full service restaurant. Now you mentioned Sundays. Mm -hmm. Something is happening starting today that you can actually get involved with the election cycle here? Absolutely. What's the election 16 at Velvet Ice Cream, Joanne? Well, we figured what a better way to kind of cast your own vote by coming out and picking which Democratic Sunday or Republican Sunday you might like. Now, you are voting for taste, not party affiliation, correct? That's right. I do want to make note of that. So we made the Democratic Sunday already. What flavors are those? Well, this is a blueberry sauce that has a blueberry cheesecake ice cream topped again with blueberry whipped cream and our little... Blue chocolate donkey. Look at that. And I love what you did with the Republican side yep. because you used your elephant ear ice cream. Absolutely. And then how are you finish this one off? We finished it off with caramel sauce as well. And then we would top it again with some whip. Oh. Whip some cream. more whipped cream. This looks delicious. So this starts today. People can come out. Now, how do you choose a winner? How does that process work? Well, probably every month we'll look at the tallies and see, you know, Who's ranking high or low? So we're looking at And that at should it. give us really an indication fun. of who Ohio votes for. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I'm going to taste each one of these and cast my vote. Now, I'm not choosing this one first because this is my party affiliation, or it's not. I just want to give that for the record. Okay. This is unbiased. We're going to taste the Democratic side first. Here we go with the blueberry. Here, I'm just going to use my finger for that. That's right. Ooh, that's good. That's fruity too. We're going to go over here. Taste the Republican side with the elephant ear. Ooh, that caramel. Yeah. You know what? I think there's a winner, guys. We are going to cast our vote for both. <laughs> See, I'm not going to choose one because that's going to go the wrong way. We vote for both. This has been so much fun, Joanne. Well, Thank you so much for letting you. us come out here. Absolutely. If they want to find more information, you guys have a website yeah, people can go to? VelvetIceCream.com. VelvetIceCream.com. Check out the hours there. Yep. Cast your vote today. Check out the new flavors. We're going to toss it back to you. Which side would you vote for? I'm just kidding. Don't answer that question. <laughs> They're both delicious. Well, as a member of the Whig Party. <laughs> <laughs>